In this video, we will look at two examples of constructing equivalent equations. We are told to use the operations and the value of the variable to create new equivalent equations. Remember, equivalent equations are different equations that have the same solution or solutions. We're also told to simplify fractions when appropriate. So for the first example, we are given x equals four, and the first operation is divide by seven. So beginning with x equals four, to create the first equivalent equation, we divide both sides of the equation by seven. Nothing simplifies here. Our new equivalent equation is x divided by seven equals four sevenths, which is what we enter in this first cell. x equals four is a solution to this first equivalent equation. The next operation is subtract three. So now we take this equation and to create the next equivalent equation, we subtract three on both sides, which gives us x divided by seven minus three equals four sevenths minus three. And now we need to find the difference on the right side of the equation. Let's work this out on the side. We have four sevenths minus three as a fraction is three over one. The least common denominator is seven. We need to multiply the numerator and denominator of three over one by seven to create an equivalent fraction with the denominator of seven. This gives us four sevenths minus 21 sevenths. The denominator remains seven and the numerator is four minus 21 which is negative 17. Which means the second equivalent equation is x divided by seven minus three equals negative 17 sevenths. Both of these equations have a solution of x equals four. Let's look at the second example. Here we're given the equation x equals seven. The first operation is subtract six, which means to create the first equivalent equation, we subtract six on both sides of the equation, which gives us x minus six equals seven minus six. And simplifying, seven minus six is one, the first equivalent equation is x minus six equals one. The second operation is divide by two, which means now we take this equation and divide both sides by two to create the second equivalent equation. Again, nothing simplifies. The new equivalent equation is the quantity x minus six divided by two equals one half. Both of these equations have a solution of x equals seven. I hope you found this helpful.